Welcome to another episode of Bo Learns Electrical. We're Megan and Bo, and this is our daughter Beckett. Join us on our journey as we relocate our family to raw land in beautiful northeastern Washington. Watch as we start this new chapter from scratch and build the life we desire. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Closure. Offset connector. I'm going to throw a 50 amp plug on the back side for our RV plug. It is hot today. Saturday about 1 o'clock. Smoking. Yes, this is an OSHA approved hammer. Yeah. Throw some bushings on here. Welcome to another episode of Bo Learns Electrical. It usually consists of a lot of Googling and phone calls to friends that are electricians. This panel has a single bus bar for the neutral and the ground. So, we're going to land both on the same bus. Becca was inside taking a nap and the generator shut off. It's like 85 today, so it doesn't take long to heat up in a camper. Went over there. It was out of fuel, so I just filled it up. Started it. have a way to disconnect the load so as soon as you start it it's under load which the tone of the motor didn't change which it usually does so I went inside just did it if you could hear it I went inside and uh, nothing was on and the breaker box is in her bedroom so I had a decision to make risk waking the toddler up from a nap or wait until she gets so hot she wakes up. So I was just about to open the door and go check the breaker and the thing kicked on. So it must have some sort of built-in disconnect in it. I was going to buy a small 25-foot roll of Romex and then just strip it for what I needed and then I'd have some extra. 25-foot roll with 12.2 right now was $65. Well, if you guys see I'm doing something wrong, I guess leave a comment and we'll come fix it. Depending on the judgment of the comment or I'm not an electrician. Bill! What? Bill's calling. Oh. Neighbor called. over there and make bad decisions. Well, I need to get some one inch conduit to run the uh, RV outlet in. One down, get a blank plate for this. Um, I don't know why the hell we'd need more than those. More than one out here, there's gonna be two on the other side too, so we're gonna leave that one there. I guess it'd help if I took the nut out. I don't feel like fishing anything out today. So this particular conduit goes to China. We have cheaper energy costs over there, so I figured we'd tap into Chinese power. Just kidding. It goes over there to transform. Okay. Pull a 
little measurement here. Cut a piece of conduit. that up to here and our primary side will be done be back shortly Be here a while, Toto. See how close we are. Hurry! Son of a! We definitely went down lower. buckets. I wonder if I can, you hold it and I'll tap down on it with the bucket. Okay. See. What? <laughs> hold that. Hurry up. We ain't got all day. How's that look? Good. Got it. Okay. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I think it's just gonna, yeah. It's too bendy. Out of the way. Get it, man. Get it. Say nope. 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 Yep. Yep. Maybe so. Maybe so. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe not.
What are you working on? Grounding. Since we have such beautiful rocky soil here, we just dug a big hole. A giant hole. And then we'll try to get this pounded in. found a rock. <laughs> well, it doesn't help that you're hitting a rod that's like 12 feet long. Back on the electrical project. So all we got left is to hook up our ground rod to the main terminal right there. That's what I'm going to do right now. Just wrapped up the electrical, or our primary panel. <clears throat> okay, got this done. Got these two wired in, two outlets on this side and one 20 amp breaker, two outlets on the other. Not quite sure I was supposed to put this here, but uh, we'll see what the inspector says. I don't have the 50 amp for the RV plug-in yet. I was missing a bushing to go in the back um, so there's no sharp edges when the wire goes across it so let's pick that up the next couple days i'm gonna try to go ahead and get it inspected i got we got megan helped ground rods in one two i'll get those back filled like i said before i was told to keep them six inches above grade not sure if that's right or not but that's what i was told that's what i'm doing see what the inspector says Hopefully, um, I'll get the LNI sticker on here. Then I can call the utility company. They'll come set the transformer there. They got a pull primary from the road, which is about 700 feet. Um, they're gonna hit a junction box that we put in to run power down the property if we ever need it further. Actually, let's just go walk it. I'll go walk it with you. All right, starting over. So. Here's power line, here's the main road. We came in here, this is actually the neighbor's property. Um, we got a power easement. Blew through his trees here. <clears throat> you guys have seen in our previous videos that this was all trenched, dug up 36 inches to the bottom of the trench. And then we threw you know, six to eight inches of sand in there and uh the then we bet or laid our conduit in and the gas company came and laid their gas pipe in and then we shaded with about another foot of sand and then backfilled with native soil so i think our road turned out pretty good just a little bit of trenching left to fill in we're ready to get power <laughs> 